you know, I came to the studio one day and I had this vibe in my mind and I I went to uh, my good buddy that played guitar on the record. It's uh, Mike Hartnick. And I sat down with him and just kind of told him what I what I was hearing and what I thought this record was supposed to be. And he took it from there, man. You know, he picked up his guitar and next thing you know, there's some really dope chords were coming out. And, you know, I was over there patting my leg and stomping. And we just kind of got to vibing on the record and it became something. So, you know, in the beginning, it wasn't really anything. It was just a vibe that came to life. And uh, we presented the record to Yella. And before we actually finished the record, like he took what we had started and went and jumped in his car and rode around listening to a loop of what we gave him. He pretty much wrote the record like that. As he was doing that, you know, Mike and myself, we were in the studio continuing to build sounds to it and, you know, just kind of complete it. But it was a very interesting situation. It was probably one of my most memorable and most fun. Yeah, so the day we did Till It's Gone, uh, showed up and uh, Will had this kind of vibe in his head he wanted to go for. We listened to some music and it's kind of bluesy thing or whatever. And uh, so I just started throwing out ideas and I did the, uh, I've kind of over the years acquired this weird kind of bass slash guitar technique, uh, real per percussive kind of. Triplets and stuff like that. So anyway, I had this uh, this this guy. I started playing. Which you've heard, uh, and yeah, I was just messing around. I was like, yeah, record that right now. So I went in the booth, did that, um, and then I had I've had this chord progression in, around for years. Uh, the chorus chords. Uh, it's, uh, So I just threw it on top of there and everybody liked it. So I was like, sweet. So those parts went together well. And then uh, Will put all the sauce on it and gave it to, uh, to Yellow Wolf and he did his thing. It is what it is. Will's great. Uh, awesome at what he does. Again, like uh, just a great producer and uh, good energy, you know. Uh, easy to work with, just it made it really easy on me, just so I could, uh, anything I did he liked, which was good for me, so I didn't have to try too hard, like, uh, um, so, yeah, it was really cool, I think we bonded pretty well, and, uh, and on this bass, on this record, and, um, real simple bass line, just real kinda, simple, yeah, filling up the low end, yeah, real sick. I think the next part that was moving for me was when we started doing the hand bones. Let's bring those in. These are live hand bones where I actually went in the booth and, you know, sat down and just kind of played it on my knee. You know. Just kind of working with the guitar rhythm. Working with the guitar rhythm. As we came to the hook, we had these weird strings we wanted to add to the record. Now this is really sick because there's it's like a vocal in there as well as a string. So it's like a hybrid of a weird noise. <laughs> So you guys know what the record sounds like. If not, please go to iTunes and pick it up. It's um, available on Love Story. The song is called Till It's Gone.